to keep your yeah you fight on sometimes weary sometimes lame i'm pressing on in jesus name keep your You fight on. You can talk about me as much as you please. More you talk, I'm gonna bend my knees. You need to keep your. Yeah, yeah. Everyone say. You fight on. Oh, you fight on. Come on, help us sing it. You fight on. Israel loved Joseph more than all his children because he was the son of his old age. And he made him a coat of many colors. And when his brothers saw that his, their father loved him more, then all his brothers, they hated him. Help me, Lord. And could not speak peacefully unto him. And Joseph dreamed a dream. Help me, Holy Ghost. And he told it to his brothers. And they hated him even the more. Look at your neighbor. Say, neighbor, don't count me out. Come on, give God a hand praise right there. Come on, give God a hand praise. Say, neighbor, 
Don't count me out. We live in times now that, and, 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 and when you are a child of God, don't you ever think because you're saved, everything is going to be, as I call it, hunkadory. Everything's going to go smooth and go good. We had troubles before we got saved. You're going to have troubles when you get saved because the Bible says this is a suffering way. Jesus said, I suffered in the flesh, arm yourself. Likewise, he did, he said that to equip us. So we won't think that when we get saved that everything's going to be all right. But I come out to tell you, everything will work to better for your good. To them that love the Lord and them that's called according to his purpose. When God got a purpose on your life, and let me tell you something, let me prophesy just for a minute. If you under the sound of my voice, God have purpose in your life. Somebody said, hallelujah. Lord wouldn't have sent you here if he didn't have purpose on you. He got something for you to do. It was nothing but witness to your cousin and cause your cousin to be saved. See, some people think they can't do nothing unless they preach. God ain't called all of us to preach. And some of them preaching, God didn't call them no way. But God got a ministry for everybody in here. It is our job to be missionaries and tell somebody Jesus got a better way. Look at your neighbors and neighbor. Regardless of what I go through, don't count me out. Come on, give him some praise right there. Come on, praise him. Yeah. Yeah, Lord. Every now and then, I don't care who you are. Life will get you down. It may be death. It may be a disappointment. Somebody walking out on you and some kind of sorrow will come through your life. Sometimes when you're having grief, pain, and sorrow, people will give up on you. But I come out and tell you, God should go in encourage my people and tell them to pray for one another. Whatever you do, whatever you see me going through, don't count me out. Somebody's a hallelujah. I got a bad habit of when I'm going through something. I go to the B-I-B-L-E and let my hands walk through the pages. I found out whatever I'm going through, whatever you're going through is in the book. Somebody went through it before you did. For the Bible says there's nothing new under the sun. But I heard sometimes life will get you down. Oh, yes, it will. Sometimes troubles, sometimes trials sneak upon you so fast. It'll feel like it grabs you. But I don't care what it looked like. Yes, don't count me out. I heard in the Bible, in the book of Proverbs 24, 16, my Bible says, for just man, I'm talking about when you're living right, Paul is seven times. He ain't talking about backslide. He talking about have troubles. Things happen in life uh, that you can't do nothing about. Uh, Sometimes the cares uh, of this world uh, will get heavy uh, upon your shoulders. Uh, it's good uh, when you're going through a test, uh, when you're going through a trial, uh, that you know Jesus. Uh, Cause what Satan want to do uh, is vex you uh, out of your mind. Uh, but I come out and encourage you. Uh, let the mind uh, that's in Christ, uh, in Christ Jesus, uh, be also in you. Uh, somebody say, yeah. Look at your neighbor's and neighbor. Uh, I want the Lord uh, to touch my mind. Come on, praise him in here, church. God, I feel like preaching. Come on, praise him. Uh, I look down through history. Uh, the Bible says, uh, for just man, uh, all is seven times. Uh, 
one tragedy, one trouble after the other. He said, but the wicked shall fall into mischief. He said, the ones that live in wicked, he says, so a man soweth, so shall he reap. You're going to reap just what you sow. If you sow discord, you're going to reap it. If you sow confusion, you're going to reap it. If you sow underhandedness, you're going to reap it. If you undermine God, you're going to reap it. Old folks say you're going to reap just what you sow. Before you start reaping it, y'all will start repenting and get right with God and do it now. Down at the cross where he shed his blood. Get right. Get right with God. When I look through the world, they look for great men of God. Folks wanted to give up on them, but I found out when I'm going through, y'all to tell your neighbor, neighbor, don't count me out. They tell me Adam lost his walk with God, but I heard Adam didn't give up. And God uh, did not count him out. Uh, I heard Noah uh, preach for 120 years uh, and told man uh, it was going to rain. Uh, come in the ship. Uh, they didn't obey Noah. Uh, so much pressure got on him. Uh, the whole world drowned it uh, except for eight souls. Uh, but the Bible says uh, Noah got down uh, and got drunk. Uh, but Noah found his way back to the Lord. For the Bible says Noah was perfect in his generations. Genesis 6 chapter. Read it when you get home. Somebody said hallelujah. Abraham. Name was Abel at this time. God gave him a promise. But that was a king in Canaan. Abraham was afraid of uh, and he lied uh, and said his wife uh, was his sister uh, and I heard uh, God uh, didn't give up on Abraham uh, when you forget uh, the promise uh, God had promised you uh, he said I'll never leave you uh, he didn't say if you go through this uh, or you go through that uh, he said I'll never leave you uh, not forsake you regardless of what you have to go through somebody say yeah come on praise them church I heard Jacob have a problem with his brother by the name of Esau I'm trying to show y'all something great men of God had some downfalls life it's like a roller coaster. Sometime you're up. My old bishop didn't allow us to say that. But I found out that's really life. I don't care how saved, how holy you are. You're going to have some down trots. You better learn. Hold on. God's unchanging hand. Regardless of what life throws at you. Somebody say, yeah, I heard uh, Joseph. Uh, Y'all know about Joseph. Uh, I read about him in the text. Uh, was put in the pits uh, and put in jail. Uh, had some troubles. Uh, had some tribulations. Uh, but you didn't need to count him out. Uh, David uh, set a man up to be killed. Uh, but he repented. Uh, got right with God. Uh, don't count me out. Uh, that was a prophet uh, by the name of Ahijah. The Bible says uh, Ahijah was blind uh, and folks gave up on him. Uh, but I heard uh, Jehoshaphat's wife uh, stepped up on the step. Uh, even though he couldn't see her, uh, he still had a spiritual man uh, that was very much alive. Uh, and Ahijah said, woman, uh, why disguise thyself? Uh, somebody said, hallelujah. Just because he was blind, uh, you couldn't count him out. Uh, Elijah uh, got to be one of the greatest prophets uh, that ever walked the face of the earth. Uh, 
God came and picked him up in a chariot and took him back to glory. But I heard he got down in the spirit because a woman named Jezebel threatened his life. Whatever you go through, don't count me out. Peter lied. Turn his back on Jesus. I don't know what you're talking about, but I heard Peter said, do whatever you do. Don't count me out. I stopped by to tell you, we Christians are not devil proof. Things can go down on you, can go bad. Yes, but look at your neighbors and neighbor. Don't let it keep you down. Come on, give God some praise. Say yeah. Come on, praise him. Come on, praise him. Look over at your neighbors and neighbor. Whatever you do, don't count me out. Somebody say hallelujah. This is what Paul did. He said he tried to tell us and tried to show us how the enemy will come and try to crush you down. Paul said, we are honored. But some folks will dishonor us. Paul said, the world gives us an evil report. He said, but the Lord gives us a good report. He said, the world said, we are deceitful. He said, but the Lord said, we are true. The world, they don't know us. They call us unknown. But God says, we're well known. The world said, we're dead. But the Lord said, we're alive. Paul said, the world said that we are sorrowful, yet always rejoicing. Help me, Holy Ghost. The Bible says, as a poor man, as poor, but yet take it with you. As poor, but yet made, making others rich. Lord, how much I... It's amazing how a child of God may not have anything, but he can pray for you, and God bless you. The greatest man of God by the name of Elijah was a poor prophet, but he prayed for others, and they became wealthy. Elijah, his follower, prayed for a willow woman that didn't have nothing. She became a millionaire in one day. We're poor, but make others rich. Somebody say hallelujah. Yes, as having nothing, yet possessing all things. I heard Paul asked a question. He said, what are you going to let separate you from the love of God? Paul said it. He said, who, uh, what person uh, are you going to let your kin folks? Uh, are you going to let tragedy? Uh, are you going to let folks talking about you uh, separate you uh, from the love of God? Uh, he said, are you going to let tribulations? Uh, tribulations uh, means suffering. Uh, Jesus told you, uh, I told you just a few minutes ago, uh, he suffered in the flesh. Uh, arm yourself likewise. Uh, Paul said, are you going to let distress, let pain, or misfortune separate you? You'd be amazed how many people stop serving God because of distress. Hard hurting. But I heard Jesus, if you learn to stick with him, will mend a broken heart and a broken and contrast spirit. Help me preach, Holy Ghost. Are you going to let persecution because somebody don't believe the way you believe and they persecute you? Paul said, whatever I go through, don't count me out. 
He said, don't let famine, I, just a great, I, a great shortage. I, that's what famine is. I, he said, I don't care I, what the economy look like. I, I don't care I, how, how the gas price gets. I believe God is going to take care of his children. Y'all don't hear me here, but I feel like preaching. Say yeah. Say yeah. Lord, how much I, when folks throw rocks at a child of God, you got to learn to be like an eagle. When you throw a rock at an eagle, it just make him go a little bit higher. People don't realize when they try to stop I'm a real child of God. You can't count me out. Every time they throw rocks at me, they throw stones at me, I go a little bit higher. I get a little bit closer to the Lord. Look at Paul, y'all. Paul said, let my life encourage you. If I went through this, you can go through that. Paul said, the Jews, they beat me five times with 40 stripes except for one. They whooped me with 39. I thought they was doing God a favor. He said, but it didn't stop that. He said, three times they beat me with a rod. Lord, how much. You're talking about the stuff you went through. Look at this man of God. But he didn't let nothing make him throw in the towel. He said, one time they stoned me to death and thought I was dead. Left me in the trash pile. And when they walked away, God let my pulse start back to beating. And I got a heartbeat. Paul said, three times I was in shipwreck. One time we couldn't swim to shore. I stayed a night on the day in the deep. Shocks everywhere. But God took care of me. Y'all don't hear me here. Whatever you do, don't count me out. I look at Joseph. If you don't hate, this is what Joseph said. He told his brothers, I know you hate me. Ain't no need. And us playing games. But if you didn't hate me, you can take folks' hate and make it elevate you. Because my Bible says, for we know that all things good and evil work together for your good. Bible says, I heard, Lord, how much Joseph said, I know that you hate me, but I don't hate you. Because my Bible says, love my enemy. Do good to them that persecute me, them that talk about me, them that rail on me. My Bible says, bless your enemy. And he calls a fire up under his head. And I heard Joseph looked at his brothers because one of them said, when daddy died, Joseph going to kill all of us. He said, you got me wrong. He said, I know you hated me, but if you didn't hate me, if you had not sold me, I never would have went down to Potiphar's house. If I never got to Potiphar's house, his wife never would have lied on me and said I tried to rape her. If I didn't, that lie wouldn't told on me. I'd have never went to jail and met the butler and the baker. If I'd have never met the butler and the baker, my name would have never came up before Pharaoh's. Pharaoh's made me second to him in the kingdom. It was all because you hated me. Somebody said, hallelujah. God, uh, let evil uh, turn around uh, for your good.
Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, whatever you do, don't count me out. Come on, give God some praise right there. When I, I look at the life of Joseph, I, I see Jesus in Joseph's life. Joseph was a young boy. Jesus at one time was a young boy. Joseph for about 17 years of his life. We really don't know nothing about Jesus for 17 years of his life. We really don't know nothing about him. Joseph's brothers did not receive him. Jesus' kinfolks did not receive him. They took Joseph's coat and gave it to his father. The coat of many colors. They took Jesus' coat and gambled for it. The Bible says his brothers hated him and conspired against him. The Bible says the stripes, the Pharisees and the Pharisees went against Jesus and conspired to do him evil. The Bible says they put Joseph in a pit. The Bible says they put Jesus on a cross. Joseph said, I forgive you. Jesus said, Father, forgive them. They know not what they're doing. Joseph was victorious. Jesus got up out the grave with the victory, with all power in his hand. Come on, y'all stand to y'all feet. Oh, Lord, how much I got to get ready to go to the house. But I stopped by to tell you, whatever you see me going through, whatever you see a child of God going through, don't count them out. We got to learn to pray for one another. We got to learn to lift each other up. Satan is busy. You and I got to get busy doing the Lord's work. Somebody say yeah. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, don't count me out. Come on, put your hands together.